The reason that a foot is 12 inches and that we sell eggs in a dozen and that a day is broken down into two sections of 12 hours each and that each hour is broken into 60 minutes is because all of these units of measure go back to the Sumerians of ancient Mesopotamia. Unlike English, where we count by tens, Sumerians counted by sixties, but they also found it convenient to break that sixty down into groups of twelve, because both twelve and sixty are divisible by lots of numbers, like two, three, four, and six. It's also very easy to count to twelve on just one hand by counting the finger joints on the hand. And then when you fill up an entire hand and you have one group of twelve, you can keep track of how many groups of twelve you've counted using your other hand. So 12 times 5 gives you 60. This way of counting is still used by some people in Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and India. The Sumerians were later replaced by the Babylonians, who used a base 10 counting system, which you can see reflected in the way they wrote their numerals in cuneiform. But the Babylonians did continue to count various things in groups of 12s and 60s, like astronomy and mathematics. The Babylonian system did eventually influence the Roman system of units and measures. The Romans had a word for one twelfth of something, unkia, and that's where we get our modern word inch from. That Latin word unkia also developed into the old French word ounce, and that gave us our modern word ounce. The reason that an ounce is one sixteenth of a pound and not one twelfth of a pound is because at one point the standard changed from one twelfth to one sixteenth, but they kept the original term to refer to that unit.